Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, children. Amen. I want to welcome you today again to another good day that God has given us to learn the Word of God and to listen to the Word of God. And so I thank you for coming. So we just want to ask God to help us to open our mind, open our ears, to open our hearts so that we can receive the Word of God, believe the Word of God, and when we understand the word of God, we will do what it says and God will bless us. Praise the Lord, children. Okay, so let us be still. We put our hands together, everybody, and we close our eyes. We are praying. Let's begin by praying. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you all the praise. We thank you. We bless you that you are a good God. Thank you, Lord, that this day you are here with us, O oh God. We just want to humble our hearts before you as children, looking to you and trusting in you, O oh my Father. Lord, we invite you in this moment as we want to learn the word of God. By your Spirit, come minister to us. Help us to open up our minds, open our ears, Open our hearts, oh my God, that you may be able to hear and understand your word, oh my God, that your word shall come powerfully to bless our lives. Your word shall come powerfully and help us in our lives, oh God. We plead the blood of Jesus upon our lives, upon every child, upon every home, upon this teaching, we plead the blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, we love you, we welcome you, and we are depending on you. And it is in Jesus' name that we have prayed. And we all say, Amen. We all say, Amen. And so let us continue to get ready. We always prepare. You prepare your Bible, your mind. You prepare your notebook. And you get your pen. So let us get ready, children. Call your friends. Call mommy. And as you continue to prepare, we are going to sing a song. I will sing a song. The song goes, Omba, Omba, Utafute Uso Wabwana, Aonae Kwa Siri, Atakujibu Kwa Wazi. Omba, Omba, Utafute Uso Wabwana, Aona e kwa siri, ata kujibu kwa wasi. Na watoto tuombe, tuombe, tutafute uso wabwana. Aona e kwa siri, ata kujibu kwa wasi. Sisi sote tuombe, tuombe, tutafute uso wabwana. Aona e kwa siri. Ata kujibu kwa wazi Aona e kwa siri Ata kujibu kwa wazi Praise the Lord Have you heard that song? That song is telling us we pray We seek God We ask God to help us And God who sees us when we pray in secret He says he will answer us And people will see that we are praying to God And he has answered us Praise the Lord. I know you are ready with everything and you want to begin to remember last week what we learned last week. Na tulikuwa na teacher nani watoto? Tulikuwa na teacher Dorcas. Yes. Tulikuwa na teacher Dorcas. Na unakumbuka alikuwa anatufundisha nini? Yeah, alikuwa na mimi nakumbuka the topic was look to Jesus and live. And me, I remember teacher was telling us, you know, in this life, tukona mambo mengi, we may have issues that may be disturbing us or issues that are good, and sometimes we want to look and our attention goes to these things. But she was telling us, we should not look at these things. She was telling us, we lift our eyes and look to Jesus. Because when you look to Jesus, he lifts us up above those circumstances. And these things will not bring us down. So she was telling us, let us look to Jesus. When we look to Jesus, he will help us, he will bless us, and Jesus will raise us up. 
Bwana asifiwe. See that is what we learned children. See unaona mimi nakumbuka. I know even you you have remembered and God bless you. And even this week our God is good. We have a new topic that we want to learn today. This is the word that God has given us. Are you able to see? Let us read together. Inquire of God. Let's read children. Inquire of God. Let us read another time. Inquire of God. Yes, that is the word to inquire of God. And do you know what inquire means? Inquire means to ask. Kuliza mungu katika maombi. Maybe there is something you don't understand. You ask God. God wants us to inquire. God wants us to know more. Maybe you are not understanding the word of God. You can go back to God and pray and ask him, God, help me to understand this. There's something about your life you may not be understanding. God wants us to go to him and ask him. That is to inquire. You go to God and inquire, Lord, I want to understand. Lord, I want you to help me here. So that is what God is telling us, that we may inquire of God. Amen. So we go to the word of God. Let us go to the word of God and understand what does this mean. So I want us to read in the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah in the Old Testament. So the book of Jeremiah is after Isaiah. And then it is before you reach Lamentations. So we are reading the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 23. Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 23. And so I am reading. It says, the title is Jeremiah's Prayer. Jeremiah was praying. So these are the words that Jeremiah was speaking to God as he was praying. It says, I know, O God, that a man's life is not his own. It is not for man to direct his steps. Hmm? Let's read again. I know, O God, that a man's life is not his own. It is not for God to it is not for man to direct his steps. Ati Jeremiah alikuwa naambia Mungu. You know Jeremiah was a prophet of God. He was speaking to the people the word of God. God was directing him and he would go and tell the people this is what God has said. And as Jeremiah was praying, he realized, ah, this life does not just belong to me. It belongs to God. And it is not for you to direct your. Yaani hauwezi kujiongoza wewe mwenyewe kwa sababu maisha yako Mungu ndiye amekupatia. Na hiyo maisha Ni, ni ya Mungu. Na unajua watoto from the time you are born even before you were, you were born God says we learned sometimes back God says that even before you were you were created in your mother's womb before kwa, kwa tumbo ya mama yako ati Mungu alikujua na Mungu akakuchagua. Na sasa leo tunasoma tunasoma ya kwamba a man's life is not his own and it is God who directs his steps. So it means that God has already made a plan for your life. And the Bible says that plan is good. And now we are being told that it is not you who will direct your life. It is God. Yakumba every step. Kila atua unayenda ni mungu ndiye atakuongoza. Na ile neno tumesoma, topic imesoma ya kumba inquire of God. Sasa hii inamaanisha kama hii maisha ni Mungu ndiye anatuongoza kila hatua. Ni lazima wewe sasa kazi yako ni kuuliza Mungu. Kila wakati unauliza Mungu, nifanye aje. Ukiamka asubuhi unauliza Mungu, siku ya leo nisaidie. Niongoze siku ya leo. Nijue njia zako. Bwana asifiwe. So we will continue to read the word of God so that we can continue to understand what we are talking about. And now we are going to read from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah, you just go back. We are, we are in Jeremiah. So, ukirudi yako nyuma, utapata Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 55, 
verse 8 and 9. Praise the Lord, children. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8 and 9. Okay, I'm going to read. It says, My thoughts, I'm reading from the Good News Bible. It says, My thoughts, my thoughts, says the Lord, are not like yours. <clears throat> that is what God is saying. My thoughts, says the Lord, are not like yours. And my ways are different from yours. Verse 9 says, As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways and thoughts above yours. When I say fewer, so God is saying that his thoughts, yakati, mawazo ya mungu, anasema ni tafauti, na vile wewe unafikiria. And then God says that his ways are different from, from our ways, or his ways are different from yours. Vile wewe unapanga mambo yako, siyo vile mungu anapanga, kuna vile mungu anakupangia. Na anasema ya kwamba njia zake ni tafauti. Na mawazo yake pia ni tafauti na yako. Halifu pia anasema ati vile mbingu ziko juu kutoka hapa kwa hii dunia. Eh? As high as the heavens and from the earth, those are, that is the way his thoughts are very far. That is the way his ways are very far from our ways. And so what does that mean, children? So it means it is our work to always ask God. Eh? Whatever you want to do, you ask God. Is this in your way? Is this in your will? Is this what you want me to do? Children, let me tell you. You know God, even God has friends, good friends for you. God has the friends he wants you to have. Not all the friends are good for you, but God knows the good, good friends he has for you. So it is your work to ask, to inquire, to ask God, help me to get the right friends. When I see you at amen. Now we want to read us a story in the Old Testament. It is in the book of First Chronicles. And that story is about King David. And, it wants, and we want to see an example of somebody who used to inquire, asking God every time anything he was doing. King David was asking God, is this what you want me to do? So it is an example and we want to learn from King David. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So now we want to go back in the Bible and we want to open the book of First Chronicles. In it was First Chronicles. First Chronicles is after Second Kings. We have First Kings, Second Kings, then First Chronicles. Then when you continue, you'll find Second Chronicles. So I've said we are opening First Chronicles chapter 14. We are reading from verse 8 to verse 17. Praise the Lord. So just be still. And we read that story and we want to learn something from King David. So it says, the title is David defeats the Philistines. From verse 8 it says, Then the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over Israel. They went up in full force to search for him. But David heard about it and went out to meet them. Now the Philistines had come and raided the valley of Rephahim. Verse 10 says, so David inquired of God. David inquired of God, Shall I go and attack the Philistines? Will you hand them over to me? The Lord answered him, Go, I will hand them over to you. Verse 11, So David and his men went up to Baal Parazim, and there he defeated them. He said, As waters break out, God has broken against my enemies by my arm. So that, so that place was called Baal Palazim. Then let's go to verse 13. It says, Once more the Philistines raided the valley. So David inquired of God again, and God answered him, Do not go straight up, but circle around them and attack them in front of the balsam trees. As soon as you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the balsam trees, move out to battle because that will mean that God has gone out in front of you to strike the Philistine army. 
So David did as God commanded him, and they struck down the Philistine army all the way from Gibeon to Gaza. So David's fame spread throughout every land, and the Lord made all the nations fear him. Have you heard the story? Yes, it is just a small portion of the life of David. When you read in the Bible, we are given David's story from the time he was a young boy, and we are given that story until he becomes old and until the time he has died. But what we learn from the life of King David is that David loved God, and David knew he has to ask God for everything. Let me tell you, children, David was a great warrior. Hmm? Alikuwa anajua kupigana vita. Na pia alikuwa ameshinda wafalme, alikuwa ameshinda inji nyingi alikuwa amewashinda and they knew that David is a warrior, is a great warrior. But this story we are reading children, we can see that David did not depend on his strength. David did not depend even on his army. We can see here that when the Philistines were coming to attack him, David went first to God. Alienda wapi kwanza? Alienda kwanza kwa Mungu. Akaenda kuuliza Mungu. Hmm? These people are who are coming to attack us, these Philistines. Can I go out and fight them? Are you going to help me? Are you going to give me defeat? He went first to God to ask God. Let me show you King David asking God. See this picture, children? This picture, this is King David. And you know, in the days of King David, Moses had, God had told Moses to make an ark. And they used to, they, that ark they put in a, in, a, in a tent. Because that time, Jesus Christ had not yet come and he had not yet died on the cross for us. So those days, God's presence was living in the ark. So this is where the ark is. This is where the ark, the ark of God is inside here, and the presence of God was dwelling here, and they used to get priests. Priests would sacrifice animals. They would sacrifice animals so that your sins can be forgiven. So you see the priests are sacrificing. The smoke is going up to God because God is accepting the prayers of David. So David is inquiring of God. David is asking God. David is praying to God. Have you seen? And he is a king and he is praying. So if David is a king and he was praying and trusting God, that means we should also learn to pray and ask God. We should also learn to inquire from God. So let us go back to our story. So, Bonaisa Sifiwe, Bona Sifiwe. Yes, so when David asked God, God came to help him. He answered him. Only after he had prayed and God had answered him is when he went to fight. And when he went to, to fight, hey, David tells us that God helped him in this battle until it is written and, and he said, that the way waters break out, God has broken out against my enemies by my arm. God has defeated my enemies. Children, have you ever seen floods? Like last year, 2020, we had a lot of floods. When there's a lot of rain coming down and floods come, you know, floods will move with a great force. And floods, when the, water, the waters of the floods are moving, they sweep everything. Even if they find a tree, they'll uproot that tree and go with the tree. If the wat those, those waters of the floods, if they find even, even a house, they break the house and sweep everything that is in that house. Even animals are swept with the flood. Even if the floods find you, hey, they will sweep you. So do you know what David was saying? that God has fought those enemies with all the force. He gave him all the strength. He helped him and he defeated them. But this story continues. In Endelea Kumba, at these Philistines, they came back again. And they came back again in the same valley. 
But we are told that David went back to God again to inquire of God. He went to ask God. He did not just say that I've already defeated these Philistines. They are the same ones. They have come in the same valley. Maybe you just tell his army, let us go, these ones, we will defeat them. He did not do that, children. And we, even us, we should not do that. Maybe God has helped you, you have been passing your exams, you have been number one, you have been number one, you have been number one. But we need to learn to know that it is God. Because you see, like when God helped him the first time, he said, it is God who has helped me. He said, it is God who has broken out against my enemies with my arm. He said, it is God. So even us children, let us learn to know that it is God who is helping us. And let us learn to ask God. Like when you're going to do an exam, ask God, tell God, help me. Tell God, if you don't help me, I may not manage, I will not, I cannot make it without you, the way David asked God. So they came back again, and when they came back again, David went back to God to pray and tell God, help me. And you know what happened? What happened? Now God gave him another plan. He told him what to do. Eh? He did not go to fight the same way. He gave him another plan and told him, now, what you do, you go round. You go and circle them. When they go round, 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 and then you wait. Then you will hear a sound in the trees, like marching in the trees. When you hear that sound, God attack them, because I have gone before you to fight your enemies. That is what David did. It teaches us that it is God who fights for us. Even like this year, we have been told that we are going to contend, to possess our possessions, and you have continued to learn that it is God who fights for us and God is leading us to possess our possessions because there is somewhere God is leading us. There is a plan God has for you. And let me tell you one thing, children, that God has a plan for everybody. And your plan, your plan is not the same as that one of your sister. The plan God has for you is not the same as that one of your brother. So you not just say, ah, I saw my brother, he has... He did this, even me, I can do it that way. And so that is why we are learning that we need to learn to inquire of God, to ask God, is this what you want me to do? Let me tell you, children, like there are those who are in class 8, and you're going to go to Form 1. You know you're supposed to pray. Pray and ask God, God, when I finish class 8, which school do you want me to go to? Because God has a plan for you. And God has a particular school for you. And when you go to that school which God has planned for you, he has a reason. Because there is somewhere God is taking you. When I see you were. And so God helped David even this second time when the Philistines came to attack the, the, to attack the children of Israel. God helped them and he was able to defeat them. And at the end of this story we are being told, David Likajulikana Kila Mahali kwa kila taifa walijua David Kusababu David alikuwa mtu ambaye anaomba mungu na kumuhuliza Na mungu na muongoza katika njia zake Na mungu na mpatia ushindi Sasa jinala David lili julikana Pia, baiba inatuambia ya kwamba mungu walifanya hawa watu wote wakamuogopa David, ya kwamba mtu wangesikia ati Ati, 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 ati ni David anaokopa. Maybe a king anakuja na kumbia, come and help me, we go and fight that nation of Israel. We go and fight against King David. Hey, if it is King David, I cannot go. Because David knew his God, he knew to seek God's face, he knew to pray to God and ask him and inquire every time and God was going before him and fighting for him. That is what God wants to do for you children. That is what God wants. He wants to help you, to guide you. Because we see like in the story of King David, ever since he was a young boy, he was trusting God. You know, like when he was young, he used to go and take care of his father's sheep. And you know, he used to go to the fields very far. And he was alone. He was young. Hmm? And you, as we have been reading the Bible, I know you always read the Bible at home. As we have been reading the Bible, David said, even one time, a bear came to attack the sheep. 
And even another time, the lion came to attack the sheep. But David was close to God. David knew his God even as a, a young boy. So children, I'm just encouraging you that even as a young boy, even as a small girl, learn to inquire of God, learn to pray to God, learn to ask God, learn to trust God. And you know God will make you strong. And you know God will make you make your ways clear. You will know where God is leading you. He will bless your life. Buona sifiwe. Buona yesu wa sifiwe. Yesu, we are saying that God wants us to trust Him, to always inquire of Him, to put our trust in Him. And you know, even like in, the, 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 in our time now, we have our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, our Lord Jesus Christ came and died for us. And I will not read there, but in the book of John chapter 14, verse 6, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father but by me. It means that God is leading us, and the final destination is to bring us to, the, to our Father God. And also, if you continue to read in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 26, he says that he has given us his Spirit, his Holy Spirit. Now we roam takatifu, ya kumba tufundishe mambo yote, na tukumbushe mambo yote, na ndiyo sababu tunasema, tujifundishe kuuliza mungu, ya kumba roho wake mtakatifu, atuongoze, atufundishe, atuonyeshe njia, na ili tutembe katika njia za mungu, tubarikiwe na mungu, na mungu atuongoze hadi tuweze kufika heaven. Nani anataka ati, akimaliza maisha yake, ametembea vizuri na mungu, Mara ya mwisho afike heaven kwa Jesus. Si mi ata mi nataka hivyo. Sasa tujifundishe kuuliza Mungu kila wakati. Hata ukienda kulala muuliza kulinde ulale vizuri, muuliza kusaidie kwa shule, muuliza kusaidie marafiki wazuri. Bwana asifiwe. Na sasa acha tuone memory verse. Na no, memory verse. Comes from the book of Psalms. Chapter 8, chapter 32, sorry, Psalms chapter 32, verse 8. It says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. Let's repeat, children. Psalms chapter 32, verse 8. It says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. Bonas if you were. Have you heard the word of God? God is saying, I will instruct you. When you ask him, ataku. Elekeza. When you ask him, ataku fundisha. And also, anasema ya kwamba ye ndia ataku shauri. Anasema ya kwamba, I will watch over you. You know, manisha, God will protect you. Manisha, kumba mungu atakulinda, mungu atakuangoza, mungu atakupigania, ukikuwa karibu na ye, na ye, pia mesema atakuwa karibu na wewe. Na tunataku shukuru mungu kwa sababu anakupenda sana, anakupenda, mimi ananipenda sisi wote, anatupenda, anataka tuongoze kwa hii safari yake mzuri, kwa hii dunia hatuishi tu, tunaishi tukimu tegemea Mungu tunaishi tufanye mapenzi ya Mungu tunaishi tujue vile Mungu anataka na maisha yetu na tume, tumejifundisha ya kwamba kuna mahali Mungu anatuongoza kuna mipango ambayo Mungu ako nayo kwa ajili yako kwa ajili yangu kwa ajili ya sister yako Mungu ana mipango mizuri kwa ajili ya brother yako Mungu ana mipango mizuri na hiyo mipango mizuri ni sisi tutamuuliza kila wakati we will inquire, we will ask God help us, God guide us, God show us the way. Bwana sifiwe. Tumeelewa neno la Mungu? Najua tumeelewa na tutakuwa watoto ambaye kila saa tunamuuliza Mungu. Na sasa tunataka tukamilishe kwa kuomba ili Mungu atusaidie. Let's put our hands together. So we are praying Father God in the name of Jesus, we give you praise and glory and honor. Thank you, Lord, because of your word. 
this day you have taught us from your word that we need to inquire, we need to ask you as children that you may lead us because you have good plans for us and because our lives are not our own but our lives belong to you and that it is you that direct our steps. Every step we take it is you to guide us and so you are reminding us this day to ask you so that you can guide us, so that you can counsel us, so that you can lead us and so that our lives, O oh God, shall be victorious in this life, like King David who relied on you. And when we read his story, we see that you were with him even to the very end and his life was successful. And that is our desire, O oh my God, that our lives and the lives of the children shall be successful in this world, O oh my God. We shall trust in you, we shall look to you, O oh my God, and you shall hold our hands and walk with us on this journey and bless us, my Father. We worship you and we honor you, and it is in Jesus' name we have prayed. And we all say, Amen. and God bless you.